Hey beautiful souls, it is me, Nurse Meg, with another video, and this video is specifically for nurses who have graduated nursing school and are studying for the NCLEX. First of all, holy freaking moly, congratulations, you survived nursing school. You survived the process to get in, <laughs> which is hell. You survived whatever entrance exam that you did, the T's test or whatever hell they created, and then you survived each semester years of your life poured into this and then you graduated nursing school is behind you so take a deep breath and just feel that success you succeeded in passing nursing school you're freaking fantastic i'm so proud of you we have one little hurdle to get you to your dream job and that is the nclex this national licensure exam that is not ideal the questions are written by people trying to trick you. They are written within a world that does not exist. So um, if you are an experienced person, maybe you're a CNA, you're a secretary, you're working in the medical field and you see one world and then you try to answer NCLEX questions, no, it's a different world. Um, I personally believe that if you passed nursing school and graduated, you have all of the knowledge that you need to pass the NCLEX. The NCLEX is really just testing to see if you're an entry level nurse. They're not testing to see if you're an experienced nurse and you know exactly what you're doing. It's just testing. Is this person ready to start a preceptorship, to start orientation and to start learning how to be a nurse? That's all they're testing. They don't do it well. <laughs> And the two biggest reasons why people fail the NCLEX is number one, they're at test anxiety. This test is built up into their brains, it's put onto a pedestal, and if they feel like they're not doing well, they're not confident, maybe they're getting similar questions, they start to spiral and they don't pass because of that. Their anxiety is literally blocking the brain pathways to the information that they already know. And number two, it's because they're not thinking like the NCLEX. They're not thinking in this perfect world of you have all the supplies you need. You have the perfect, nicest doctors. They're sitting right next to you. You have only one patient and you only have one thing to worry about. They don't do these two things and then they fail. And if you do fail the NCLEX, I want you to release any guilt, any disappointment, or any hate that you have towards yourself. If you failed the NCLEX, I want you to switch your mentality right this second. And I want you to say out loud, the NCLEX failed me, I did not fail the NCLEX. Because it failed to realize this person is ready to be an entry level nurse. They passed school, they're ready. The NCLEX failed you. So I am here to help you to cross this one little hurdle, to cross this one little bridge to being a nurse and getting those two little letters next to your name, whatever your name is. Caitlin, RN. Meg, RN. Don't you want that? Oh gosh, I wanna help you get there. I actually wrote an entire course on how to study for the NCLEX, how to pass the NCLEX. I broke it up into stages. I give you pre free practice questions. I give you some lecture content. It's literally like an all-encompassing exam um, to prepare you and it has a 99% pass rate. Over 800 students, at this point, 900 students. So almost a thousand people have taken my course and passed the NCLEX um, in the last two and a half, almost three years. So let's dive in. I wanna give you some really practical examples. I'm actually gonna be staring at my computer because I have the course open right now. I'll put links down below to this course. Um, but the main thing that I really wanna focus on in this video is preparing for the exam and how to study. So I have an entire um, section in my course. There's four videos in this section and it's called phase one leading up to the NCLEX. So phase one is the study portion leading up to it. Uh, phase two has two separate videos and it's all about the day before the exam. How to put your brain in the max perfect open pathway state. What you do, what you eat, how you sleep, everything like that so that you can 
retain the information that you've studied and access that information. And then phase three is uh, NCLEX day and I have a ton of tips on what to do on the day of the NCLEX, what to eat, and I have some really awesome test strategies that you need to be using while you're studying but also within the exam that are just gonna increase your chances of passing by like at least 50%. But I do want to focus this video specifically on how to study and how to prepare. Um, so of course we want to talk about your study environment and your sort of like how to lead up to studying. So my sweet spot is four weeks. And I've seen this in all 900 of my students. Some people have taken my course in two weeks and passed. Some people have taken eight weeks, two months to just study for the NCLEX every single day. But I think four weeks is your sweet spot. And an average, if you're talking about the entire time, about 300 to 500 questions is enough for you to get enough practice to get into that NCLEX world. Um, I do suggest <clears throat> excuse me, about 10 questions a day. And I don't want you to miss a day. I want you to do it every single day. I want you to uh, do it even on holidays, even on weekends. If you take a vacation, you are doing practice questions because I don't want you to get out of the rhythm of getting into the mindset. I want you to start thinking like the NCLEX world. I want you to start thinking like the questions and be very familiar with these types of questions and with this world. I feel like if you take a break a day or two, it's not helpful. You need to stay consistent. Um, and consistency is the key for any habit, for any mindset. And so I suggest that you do at least 10 questions a day. You can do five in the morning, five at night, or 10 altogether, um, but at least that. I do want to mention that if you are studying for four hours a day and you're reading your old notes and you're reading material and you're doing a hundred practice questions a day, that is not helpful. That is not effective studying. That is overwhelming your brain with information and your brain is going to get so fatigued that it's actually going to start rejecting this. So every time you go to sit down, your brain and your body is just going to resist and say, I don't want to do this. I hate this and it's gonna to start to close those memory pathways, you're, you're gonna hate it. And then when you go to access that information for the exam, your brain is gonna say, I hate this information. Why are we doing this? This is so overwhelming. I'm already overwhelmed. I'm gonna choose the anxious pathway instead of a calm pathway and access that information. So don't overwhelm yourself with studying. There is such thing as too much studying because it's just not effective, right? So keep that in mind when you are studying. I highly suggest that you um, print out some sort of calendar or some sort of check off list so that you can check off every single day. Dry erase works really well um, so that you can check off every single day. I did 10 practice questions. I did my breathing exercises to decrease my anxiety around this test. I did my positive affirmations and said to myself, I am going to pass the NCLEX. I am a registered nurse. I can see my badge with RN and my little picture with it and the name of my dream hospital and the department I want to work in. And you go through those things. I highly suggest that you use one of those, um, put it in your room or put it in your living room, wherever you study, wherever you like pass by often, that sort of thing. Maybe put it in your planner if you're a planner type person. Um, but I want you to do that consistently. It keeps you accountable. It keeps um, the people that you live with keeping you accountable because they see it. Um, I like to put mine on my fridge, any like checklist or challenge or uh, thing that I'm doing for that month because everyone's gonna look at it that lives in my house and they're gonna be checking stuff off with me and like noticing if I miss a day or not. So that's another uh, super duper helpful way. Now I can go on and on talking about the NCLEX, but I don't want to close this video without telling you that you need to stop paying for practice questions. I have a list of 10 websites that have completely free practice questions. I want to gift you this list. Um, so click the link down below to get this free list of practice questions. Um, there are programs like Ju Globe and other 
types of programs that are just recycled old practice questions and they take your hundreds of dollars and they say, for your hundreds of dollars, we're gonna give you practice questions with rationales. And that's it. We're not going to teach you how to study. We're not going to teach you how to break down the questions or never get tricked by the questions. We're not going to teach you how to manage your test anxiety. None of that. We're just going to give you free practice questions. Please don't pay for those. Please, please don't pay for those. I get DMs every single day from people saying, I did and I still failed. I've spent so much money on this program for practice questions. Can you please help me? And I always write back and say, yes. I can. Here's a discount code for my course that teaches you how to study, how to break down the questions, how never to get tricked by a question, how to manage your test anxiety, and test strategies while you're taking the exam. And then I give you links to completely free practice questions. Now I'll give you this list totally for free because I love you and I really want nurses in the future. I really want more nurse, more people to become nurses because I'm super worried that after this pandemic, we're gonna have no nurses and it's freaking me out. And I really, really want to help you succeed so that there is a future in this career and a very respectable one, okay? So click the link below where I'm gonna put it like all in caps, like link to free practice questions <laughs> so that you can get it. Um, totally for free. So thank you so much for watching this video and making it to the end. If you did make it to the end, put a little thumbs up, give me a little like, and subscribe to this channel if you want more help on becoming a nurse, help and support in nursing school, and help and support as you start your journey as a brand new nurse. I wanna give you just the foundations of bedside and all of my 12 years of nursing experience um, because I love you. And like I said, I want more nurses in the future, please. <laughs> it's hard of being short staffed. <laughs> so I love you so much. Let me know where you're watching from in the comments or any video requests, um, put them in the comments. I'll make a video just for you. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.